Good morning, you are Gators. Today is Wednesday, September 28th. I'm Kamani. And I'm Zoe with your morning announcements. The vision of the Gilyard Elementary School community is to produce responsible, caring, contributing citizens who have a passion for learning and are academically and technologically competent in a globally competitive society. The mission of Gilyard Elementary School is to encourage, support, and empower students to use their strengths and talents to compete in a global society. This will be accomplished using innovative strategies and data-driven instruction that is focused on student discovery, exploration, and achievement. The powerful word of the week is infer. Read between the lines. Today for lunch, we're having chicken sandwich, french fries, and fruit cups. <laughs> Gear Arts Library. We have tons of cool and amazing books. If you want to read about insects, like a butterfly book, we have a butterfly book. If you want to read about snakes, we have snake books. If you want to read about sports, like football, we have a football book. We have tons of new books. Oh, this week I read a book called Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride. This book is about a, a pig going on a ride with her father. And their name is Mr. Watson and Miss Watson. Mr. Watson took Mercy on a ride, but something shocking happened. When he was trying to drive, Mercy asked him, may I drive? And he said no. So Mercy hopped on over to the driver's side and started driving his, herself. And he tried to push her over, but she wouldn't stop. But then they got pulled over by the cops. You can find this book here at Gilliard's Amazing Library. Thanks. Teachers, please continue checking your emails daily and continue reviewing rules and procedures with your students. Teachers, please make sure you take attendance and Schoology no later than 9 a.m. each day and send your attendance form to the front office. Students, students, the donut contest is on Friday. We want to know who can sell the most Krispy Kreme donut coupons. The top three students who sell the most donut coupons will win a gift card to a trampoline park and Chick-fil-A. September's Gator Buck color is blue, and the care's word is responsibility. Email Ms. Terry with your Gator Buck winners on Friday. Your two kindest tree hearts should be turned in this week. Please submit the names of, the, of two students and a brief description of their ongoing kindness. The kindness tree basket is in the workroom. Attendance month is in full swing. Every student that is here on time with no tardies and no early dismissals will be able to dress out each Friday this month. We will have popcorn for $1 and gator ice for $1 Friday. Money will not be collected after 12 o'clock Thursday. The archery team will practice. Today and Thursday. Students, we will have recess Friday depending on your behavior. Remember, this is pending student behavior. We will run a regular schedule. Ice cream will be sold for $1. This week we're on week one computer lab schedule. Please continue working with students to help them log in by themselves. Do not leave until all students signed in. Miss Terry is on week three. Stay tuned for a special announcement from Miss Lucy. Teachers, 
please make sure you check your email for important information. Continue reviewing rules and procedures with your students. Teachers, please be sure you're using your lockdown magnet in your door correctly each day. Please remember to send a late notice home with any student whose name appears on the late fee list. The notices are in the teacher's workroom. Please make sure you post your attendance and school day each day no later than 9 a.m. and send your attendance form to the front office. Remember, attendance month is from September 6th through October 3rd. Every student that reports to school every day during this time and is not tardy or gets an early dismissal will be able to dress out each Friday this month. Teachers, continue to give back your parents to send back the parent compacts. We must have a signed compact return for each student. When your class has 100% of the compacts submitted, they will receive a special treat. Teachers in pre-K through third, it is especially important that you check your student's dismissal tags daily. If they are a walker, their tag should be marked north, south, or across, or across. Please make sure the dismissal tag is on the left side of your student's book bag. Stay tuned for a few words of wisdom. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. As we begin a new day, let us pause for a moment of silence and remember all who are suffering from COVID or have lost a loved one to COVID. Let us also speak well wishes for each other during our moment of silence. Students, I ask, today, will you be a bucket filler or a bucket dipper? Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. This concludes the morning announcements. Stay tuned to check out the Bucket Fillers video. Twenty things we should say more often. Number 20, thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, excuse me. Number 18, here's a surprise corn dog that I bought you because you're my friend. There'll be more corn dogs, more happy people. This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it. But don't say it if it's something I can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often. I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before you say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Number 13, please. Number 12, everything is going to be okay. Number 11, oh, you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister. <laughs> Nine. You're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Oh, wait, wait. That could hurt someone's feelings. I mean, boat. I named my boat after you. Wait, who even had the boat? You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. It, it, just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight. Hello, person I never met before. Here's a high five. <laughs> Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five.
doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person. Who is a human being, and I'll treat you like that. Because if I didn't, it would make everything bad, and that's what lots of people do, and it's lame. Whew, I need a water break, y'all. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three. Sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two, life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. Number one, something nice, anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. So what about you? What do you think people should say more often? Leave a comment below and let's hear it.